So, welcome back. As you see, we are in the middle of nowhere. We're in New Jersey. I'm at the largest rummage sale in New Jersey. You guys might be able to see it, uh, but there has to be 400, 500 cars already. Cars already. And uh, this thing doesn't start until 9.30. So, <laughs> they got a while to go. Um, I saw over there there was a shuttle service. And I was like, there's a shuttle service. I'm just going home. This is a... Uh, this is a big one and they had photos i'll throw some photos of the event or the pre-event um, right here as you can see they have a lot of stuff a lot of stuff i think i'm going to start off in the clothes um i think the, the least amount of competition will be in the clothes but it's my specialty and I know last year my friend came here and uh, after about 30 minutes or 45 minutes she was able to find two Patagonia stuff so I'm still very hopeful that they'll be closed no matter what um, and even if I'm not the first person in line I'll be alright uh, the one thing I do know is forget it if you're trying to get glassware like Pyrex or Corningware or cast iron skillets like Griswold or jewelry if you're not the first five people online, you're not getting it. They also have a pre-sale thing with all the employees or the volunteers, and they get first pick. So if you know somebody who works for them, they're like, hey, look for these patterns or look for this, look for that, you're not getting it. Um, so I don't think there are any Griswolds. I know in the photos there, are, there was a lot of galvanized um, watering cans. I don't know what the prices are here. So... I figured clothes will be the first stop for me. And, uh, yeah, let's check this thing out. So that's all the records, CDs, and DVDs. You can see the whole back thing is packed with DVDs. Packed. Here's all the bicycles. Look at all the coolers. Holy cow. They got enough coolers. Golf clubs. Holy cow. Couple toboggans. Try to drive a little slower. Holy cow, there's just so much, so much. This is, this is great. This guy's having the time of his life. <laughs> oh, geez, we're here. I'm going to get out and get in line. There's got to be 40 people in line for everything, so no more dilly-dallying. Let's get out there in line and hopefully can find some good things today. Um, I'm going to bring it back then. Stand in line for an hour and ten minutes. Got ourselves a map. This thing's like falling apart on me. I I I I honestly don't know where I'm going. I'm trying to find some menswear, shoes, and hats. My name's not Robert. Dry goods. I'm so clueless. So clueless. Now we're staying in the sporting goods section. Um, this was the longest line out of the two. Picked up about thirty dollars worth of stuff. I'll show you later, but it's supposed to rain in about 15-20 minutes from what I heard. I'm thinking about it, but
that age again. Yep, you're fine. Yep. Alright, so here's the outdoor section of all the sports stuff. Volleyball, soccer balls, basketball is four dollars each. Coolers, ten, twelve bucks. It's a big cat tree. Here's the holiday section. All right, so that's going to kind of wrap it up here. I guess it's the V&A rummage sale. I gotta find my Jeep. Is that it? No, that's not it. I think she's over there. Yeah, so that's gonna wrap it up. I picked up a bag full of clothes. We'll do a recap in the Jeep. And, um, what else happened? So here, I'll do the recap right here. Um, I filled up my bag with some sweatshirts. It was all clothes, that's all I got today. Uh, yeah, I only got clothes. And um, to be honest, if you're somebody who resells and you're not in the row that you want and you're not the first 25, 30 people in there, you are in some tough luck because I was in there and I'd say 80% of the other people in there were resellers. Um, I went to stand in the the line for housewares and the line had to be 150 people long and they let one person in for everyone who leaves I was probably in there for about 10 or 15 minutes and it was just like I, I was going to be there for 45 minutes just staying in line so I decided just to leave um, but clothes wise we have a Nike crew neck sweatshirt purple this awesome Richmond sweatshirt which is a very good school to sell see in a haul there's a lot of New Jersey stuff around here. There's a lot of New Jersey schools around here. Um, Rutgers is pretty local. Wisconsin sweatshirt. Uh, picked up some hats as well. It's a really cool vintage buffalo hat. It's awesome vintage Expos hat. Did pick up this Carhartt hat. I thought maybe it'll work. Maybe a vintage Buffalo Bills t-shirt. I've had a couple of these. They're like from the Super Bowl. University of Massachusetts t-shirt. I got one NYU one NYU t-shirt, which is actually vintage. So I'm going to ask 25 or 30 bucks for this. Um, I think I spent a total of $32 today on all this. Vintage Sharks hat. I got an Alabama hat. Lacrosse jersey. This awesome Rutgers vintage t-shirt. So Rutgers is a good school for me to sell as well. Rutgers this awesome Tommy Hilfiger spell out fleece still with the tag it was originally 50 bucks valued at $80 so that that's cool and then we picked up one more t-shirt this is a vintage University of Richmond t-shirt that's pretty cool as well so I mean it wasn't a bad haul it wasn't a really bad haul 
Um, it was very, very crowded. Very, very crowded. A lot of people are here. There's still cars coming in. You got a car there. You got another car. and It's just a line. So I don't know how I'm going to get out of here. I really have no clue. But, yeah. It's a, it's a big sale. If, if you guys want to go to a rummage sale and go to a big one, this is the one to come to. In terms of pricing, uh, I'm from Pennsylvania. I live in Pennsylvania, so the pricing here is always more expensive in New Jersey. It seems to be like uh, the t-shirts were like two, three bucks. Some were four bucks. Some were priced individually. Sweatshirts, I think, were four dollars. Um, that Tommy Hilfiger fleece was six dollars. All the fleeces were six bucks. You guys saw like the baseball gloves, twelve dollars for adult baseball gloves. I mean, these prices are kind of high compared to what I'm used to. Uh, a thrift store by me, a baseball glove would usually be like three or four bucks, regardless if it's an adult or a youth. So, t-shirts are usually a dollar, two dollars. I, I do think it's a little bit pricey, but you know that's the difference between you know living in New Jersey and living in in Pennsylvania. The cost of living, salary, stuff like that. So, um, it was a good day. It was a good haul. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this video. I try to get a little bit of everything in here. Uh, I apologize for not getting any housewares or stuff like that. It was just the line was too long. If you guys did like the video and you like treasure hunting, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And uh, as always, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.